guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making jam thumbprints so for this recipe you need 225 grams of self raising flour and 100 grams of caster sugar you need 125 grams of unsalted butter and then you need in a glass you need this doesn't look very nice does it but you need one egg one tablespoon of cold milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then whoosh, we're going to whisk it up soon. And you'll also need two greased baking trays. You will need one tablespoon of raspberry jam per um, jam thumbprint. And you'll also need your oven set at gas mark 6 or 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So the first thing we need to do is combine the sugar and the flour and just mix it with a wooden spoon. Right, that's all it takes. All the sugar and flour are well combined together now. And then you need to take a fork and your eggy, milky, vanilla -y mix and beat that together. need to add our butter into our flour and sugar mix. And using our fingertips you need to get into it and do this basically until it becomes like fine breadcrumbs. So now you need to take one of these knives, a rounded edged knife and add in your eggy, milky, vanilla mix bit by bit and with it just go round and cut, round and cut incorporating all them crumbs into the wet mixture and this is what's going to give us our dough and sometimes if you do this Lots of little circles, you probably can't hear me there, but lots of little circles, it comes together, as you can start to see it is doing. Make sure you get it all off the side. together nicely get the last little bit in and once you put it all in um, if your mixture is like mega mega sticky you need to like work a little bit more flour into it and that'll help that problem but then if it's too dry and you've got loads of crumbs at the bottom of your bowl when you've incorporated it all add a little bit more milk in and that will get rid of that problem the dough. So now you need to take your dough which is all nicely incorporated which looks like this and you need to take it into lots of little balls make it into a ball shape that might be too big and put it on your baking tray but you must make sure you leave enough room because they will go a bit flat so I'll get on with the rest now I've rolled them all out into balls, my mixture is made a six and a five and they look like little dumplings if I show you a bit closer, look like that and then what you want to do is get your flour, stick your thumb in, so your thumb is coated in flour and then push your thumb into them which is what makes the jam thumbprint um, shape which is the name of our recipe. to add our jam I'm using Hartley's best seedless raspberry jam and I'm just putting a really small amount into each well now do not put too much in because jam 
like that. That is way too much. That is stupid because way too much jam in these. They're just, ooh, that's dropping. They're just flood over and burnt hot jam is awful to have to clean up. I know because I've been there with it. Well, I have filled my thumbprints up with jam now. They're all done and they look nice. So now what you need to do then is put them in the oven for 10 minutes on the gas mark 6. Um, if you forget any of these things or you can't keep up with my talking, all the um, methods and ingredients and the timings and the temperatures will all be in the down bar below so make sure you have a look at that. So once you've done them on gas mark 6 for 10 minutes, turn the oven down to gas mark 4 and bake them for another 5 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. So that is what I'm going to do now. And now they're done guys. I've sprinkled some sugar on top of them and this is what they like. So they're quite hard on the outside but when you cut into them they're really soft on the inside. So it's like half biscuit on the outside and then on the inside they're really soft and gooey like cake. So that's what they look like. So you've got your jam and everything and the sugar and oh they're so delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you give these a go yourself, tweet me the picture of your makings at Axe and Girl 100 and I will love to see what you've done. So I hope you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you next time. Goodbye.